The first assignment we are going to do in Blender is the airplane. And so I this will be the instructions for the airplane. I will go pretty fast, but it's a video. You can stop, play, pause, rewind, whatever you need to do to uh, get the instructions. Uh, when we first bring up Blender, when we open up Blender, it gives us a cube. Now we don't want a cube. We want a cylinder, so we're going to delete it. So hit the delete key on your keyboard, not backspace, but delete, and then click it with the mouse. <clears throat> and we're going to go up to add mesh cylinder. Now when it gives us our cylinder, it's up and down, and we want to rotate it so it's uh, on its side, because that's going to be the main body of our airplane. Now this menu right here, this little plus, if I click on that, it gives me an extra menu. I like this because it tells us our X, Y, Z axes and uh, we can just put in a value for it if we want to rotate that way. Now down here is the rotate key uh, or button. Click the rotate and it gives us all these crazy lines. If I click my middle mouse scroll button, I can scroll around. So I'm not rotating anything, I'm just scrolling around to get a different view. I want to rotate uh, the Y axis and put it on its side on the Y axis. So I will click this green, um, this green line, and click and drag and rotate it down. Now, as you can see up on the in the menu, it's changing my Y value, and I want it to be 90 degrees. That's a perfect rotation. So I can even just leave it right there, and I just want to click right up here and type in 90 on my keyboard and hit enter, and it makes it a perfect 90 degree rotation. Now uh, I'll go back to the translate button because I like the little arrows better, better than all those big arrows for the rotate. Okay, so here is my cylinder. Now we are in object mode, so to be able to edit it and change it, we need to change this to uh, edit mode. Go ahead and do that. Now it's all selected. If I hit the A on, if you hit the A on the keyboard, it deselects everything or selects everything. Okay, so that's a toggle between selecting everything and deselecting everything. So deselect everything by hitting A. Now these three buttons right here are different selection tools. We can sele uh, select ver uh, a vertex, an edge, and a face. Okay, we want to select this face right here. So I'm going to click on this button, face, and right click on that face right there. Now we can um, click the, we're on the translate tool, which is what we want. If I click this red arrow, click and drag it out. I'll tr drag it to about the end of the, um, the grid and then come back, over, uh, rotate over here to this side. I'll right click on this side and get the red arrow and drag it out to the end of the mesh, uh, the grid. Okay, so there's the main body of our, of our airplane. The next thing we need to do is loop cut and slide. Okay, this cuts uh, s different sections in this cylinder and we need uh, several different sections and we'll do a few here. So loop, cut, and slide gives us this purple thing uh, which we need to tell it which area we want it to select. So I click it once and then I can drag this around. This is where I want it to cut into the cylinder. Okay, so on this, on this back side, I'll click it about right there, about a fourth or fifth of, of the section. Okay, I, I want another loop, cut, and slide. So I'll click it on the cylinder and then drag it to the front. And this one will be a little closer because that will be the front of the airplane. Now that I have those two sections, I will start forming, uh, shaping my cylinder into the shape of an airplane. So I have this, uh, I'll make the nose cone first. So if I put the view like this so I can only see the circle, it's easy to select that way. Uh, if I hit the B key on the keyboard, that is the select key. Uh, the border select and so if I click and drag it selects that right there I could also I could also just right click on that if I choose face down here on the button since it's a solid face okay so I click the face and the first thing I want to do is push pull so I click the push pull and move my mouse up or down and I want to get it um, real close in there so let me zoom in so I click my button to finalize it, but I want it to go a little further. So what I'm going to do is grab the scale tool right here, and I can scale um, different ways. I can scale this way, but then it gets all oval. And then I could bring this in to get it back to normal, or rather than doing 
that, oops, I can just click on the this white circle and it will scale it evenly all around. So I want to click on that white circle and get it as close to a point as I can, and that's good. Okay, I zoom in and out by scrolling the mouse wheel. So it looks like a pencil, but we will fix that later. So that is the nose cone of the plane. Now if I come to the back of the plane, I want to select this face, so right click on the back, and we're going to bring that in a little bit as well. So click on the white, and the back of the airplane doesn't go down to a point, but it goes down uh, quite a ways. Now that I have the two sides uh, pushed, pulled uh, in, the next thing I want to do is get the wings. So I'm going to loop, cut, and slide a couple more times. So click on the cylinder, drag it out, and I'm going to put the wings in the middle. Loop, cut, and slide. Uh, I'll put them about right here. We can always move them later, but the wings are going to be extruded right there. So uh, let's do the wings first. Actually, let's do the back. I like to do the back because I can find one that's going straight up, and if it's not, I can rotate it just a little bit. So if I click on this face right here, I want the one going straight up, and that's not quite going straight up, so I'm going to rotate this whole thing. If I go from edit mode to object mode, then I can rotate it. I click the rotate button, and I'm going to rotate it so that one of them is going straight up as much as I can get it straight up. And that looks pretty good. Now go back to edit mode and select the face that's going straight up and we are going to extrude that individual section just like that. Now if you want to be a little more accurate with your airplane, you don't have to do this, but let me do it real quick for those who want to. Uh, I'm going to loop, cut, and slide just a couple more times right on here because the tail, the wings on the tail don't go all the way back usually. So I'm gonna, going to have it be right there and um, they might not start. I'm going to loop, cut, and slide one more time and they don't start quite at the top of that uh, slant. So I've got my two sections and another couple of sections there. Now I'm going to select the face that I had before one that's going straight up. I'm going to extrude it. Okay, so that's going to be my tail. Once I click and it's extruded, I can use the this uh, translate tool and just click the arrow and pull it up further if I want or down, and I can do that later also, depending on how I want it. Now I'm going to grab two from the sides, so I will grab this face right here and extrude it out. Oh, and that wasn't really the best one. I'm going to undo that. Click the one right below it. Extrude. That's a little better. Okay, I'm going to pull that out, and then I'm going to go to the other side and extrude another one. Okay, so there's my tail wings or fins. <clears throat> now I'm going to go to the wings, and I'm going to grab the same one that I extruded the same line and get uh, make sure that I have the same line all the way across so from that one I'm going to click that in the middle and extrude that as a wing okay and there's my wing I'll, I'll extrude it about to the edge of the grid okay on the other side make sure that it's the same in line with the tail wing and I will extrude it as well okay that one's a little bigger, let me pull it back in towards the end, about the end of the grid. Okay, so there is a very basic airplane. It looks terrible right now. We'll do some things to it 